today i am going to teach jablesi diagram jablesi diagram means the processes whole processes that is radiation of radiation of electronically excited molecule and a lifetime of excited molecule uh, so uh, by releasing its energy either heat energy or photochemical energy in photo organ photochemistry there is always jablesi diagram without jablesi diagram there is no photochemistry so uh, in order to understand this jablesi diagram we want to know the some terminology that is spin multiplicity chi is equal to 2s plus 1 s is the total spin total spin of the molecular systems so for example in all molecules having even number of electrons at ground state the electron spins are paired up except the oxygen molecules so the molecule having even number of electrons the electron spins are ground spared up at ground state except oxygen molecule you remember this thing also so uh, if electron spins electron spins are anti parallel anti parallel that is upward transition is cancelled by downward electron spin transition so this is s is equal to 0 so then the spin multiplicity principle chi 2 into 0 plus 1 that is nothing but uh, chi is equal to 1 that is means singlet singlet excited state if electron spins spins are parallel parallel so the chi symbol is equal to s is equal to s is equal to 1 so 2 into 1 plus 1 that is 3 so this is but we are saying that this molecule is molecule is triplet triplet excited state excited state so spectroscopically scopically es1 is greater than corresponding et1 so based on these assumptions quantum mechanically it is permitted uh, arnold uh, process so <coughs> this is s0 s0 level this is also s0 s0 is nothing but ground state singlet ground state state this is s1 this is s2 this is sn so t1 this corresponding t1 is less energy corresponding t2 is less energy corresponding tn is less energy so the electronically molecule excited molecules returns and ground state excited state so this electronically excited molecule returns to ground state by using this is nothing but emission process this is interconversion this is also electronic transition from s2 to s1 level s1 level this is also called ic process and the electronic transition from from sn2 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 t1 that is called iscc process so for example the molecule is present here so this is electronically excited molecule this electronically excited molecule returns to ground state by releasing its energy so here also electronic transition between to same spin multiplicities that is called interconversion electronic transition between two systems that is called iscc inter system crossing so from t1 to t1 to this is also called iscc process s2 to t2 this is called iscc process t2 to s1 this is called iscc process and here the electronic transition from s1 to s0 emission of radiation this is called fluorescence and electronic transition from t1 to t0 this is called phosphorescence so the emission of radiation is radiation is that is called phosphorescence so the emission process this is only jablesi diagram jablesi diagram tells us how the electronically excited molecule returns to the ground state 
by dissipating its energy and also jablensky diagram is applicable to only photophysical reaction photophysical reaction means the excited molecule returns to the ground state does not involve in the chemical reaction that's why it is a photophysical reactions so emissions are two types already you, i told you emissions two types that is non radiative emission and radiative emission non radiative emissions are two types that is ic process and iecc process non radiative emissions these transitions do not involve emission of the radiation that's why these transitions are called non radiative transitions non radiative transitions are two types ic electronic transition from higher energy level to lower energy level by releasing heat energy but having same spin multiplicity that is called ic interconversion and second one is iecc process inter system crossing electronic transition here also same from higher energy level to lower energy level by by releasing heat energy and but different spin multiplicity that is called iecc system coming to the radiative emission this radiative emission involves emission of radiation these are two types one is fluorescence second one is phosphorescence fluorescence spectroscopically allowed process fluorescence is a radiative emission it is a fast reaction it is completed within 10 to the power of minus 8 seconds so fluorescence is nothing but electronic transition from s1 to s0 involves for fluorescence radish emission of radiation this is called you have to remember this one electronic transition for fluorescence sn1 to s0 so emission of radiation this is called radiative emission and phosphorescence phosphorescence it is a slow reaction and it is a uh, it is a radiative emission it is for spectroscopically forbidden process but it requires it requires time its in spin conversion that is that is oh, so 10 to the power of minus 3 seconds 3 seconds electronic transitions in fluorescence from t1 to t1 to s0 this is phosphorescence releases radiation that is called hnf thanks for watching